dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? Ah, this is Chazzy and welcome back to What's the Damage, the good old WTD question mark, you know, here on my channel, right? <clears throat> what the hell? Yeah, what's going on with my voice today? Uh, when I complain about stuff, you know, usually in the form of a really heated rant, you know, I complain about everything around me and the things that make life not worth living because I want to die whenever these things happen and... Okay, obviously I'm, I'm exaggerating just a little bit, you know, of course, depending on what I'm talking about, that's usually the case, actually. But anyway, so, um, what the hell is that smell? Did somebody smoking outside or set fire to the rain? The hell? Anyway, today's topic is going to be about video game movies and why they utterly freaking suck. Hey, is it so hard to make a good video game movie these days? You know, because every single one that I watch is just so utterly terrible that it's kind of hard to stomach, you know? And as an avid gamer myself, you guys can imagine that I play a lot of freaking games, and I really do. You can see that on my YouTube channel, of course, but not just on my channel. I actually play for a lot of different reasons, you know? I play a lot of games outside of YouTube, and it feels good. It honestly feels really good, you know, to, to create sort of like a, a world where I can just uh, entertain myself, you know, and escape the stresses of life, you know. But the thing is that capturing the magic of a video game is not the same as doing it in a movie. If you make a standalone movie completely related to any game, you have liberties to do whatever the hell you want. And it's always going to look amazing, you know, because modern filmmaking is just crazy, you know. They really have a lot of different ways to make movies really pop and come out at you. But games are just as realistic because you're there, like, you you can watch a movie and then they might make a game out of it and it's going to be much more interactive because you're going to feel more involved because you're actually playing. However, not every game based on a movie is good, although many are. I have to admit, many come out really well because it's more fun to play through something that you saw in a movie or even a TV show. But it's really rare for the opposite to happen, you know? Usually, movies that are made that are based on games always suck, and I have a few theories as to why. For one thing, when you play a game, you are the main character, you are the one manipulating the events around you. Even if you play a game, that has a story-driven narrative, a single-player campaign that's very direct, you know, go from point A to point B and finish the level, you are still controlling the events around you, you know? You may not have control of the full outcome, of course, unless you're playing like a Telltale game or something like Mass Effect or Until Dawn, you know, where you actually do manipulate the dialogues and make uh, certain things happen. That's different, and it's actually even better. It's much more fun that way. But what I'm trying to say is that sometimes uh, it, it just feels like you're in control, you know? It feels like you're much more in control than you actually are. Sometimes a cutscene might negate that feeling, but the point is usually when you play a game, whether it's an action adventure RPG or a first person shooter or a sports simulator, you are in control pretty much all the time, you know? You manipulate the events around you and that makes you feel like you're much more involved than when you watch a movie, you know? So it's really weird to, to play a game where you're so involved from start to finish you go from beginning to end then you watch a movie about the same exact thing and you're not in control and it feels weird you know like maybe a movie based on Mortal Kombat which usually always suck you know you're just there like you just played through the game fighting and beating everybody's asses then suddenly you get to the movie and there's very little combat and the little that there is has almost no essence to it at all you know the story is horrible the plot sucks the characters are unlikable it's not the same as in a video game you know because it's much it's much easier to capture lightning in a bottle with a game than a movie, you know what I'm saying? I think that the best, or maybe in this case the worst examples, right, of uh, video games turned into movies are the Street Fighter ones, you know? Because those games are so much fun to play, even though they're all sort of generic and almost the same, each one is really exciting and it brings something new to the table, even though the combat is largely uh, identical, you know? But each one is so amazing, so cool, the stories for each character, you know, that you don't really feel the how much everything feels repetitive. It's just really fun. I could play Street Fighter for hours and not get bored, you know? But every single Street Fighter movie that has ever been made has been so horrible. You know, it's like, I, 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 it's so weird how they fail to capture the essence of the games that, that are so popular. I don't really understand how they can fail so hard, actually. But they do, and usually in spectacular fashion. And it's really sad. It's really sad because, I mean, it's kind of like you're... Uh, 
It, it, I don't know, man. It's just really strange to me how they can fail so miserably with something that should be very easy, you know? You take a fighting game and make a movie about people fighting. It should be easy, but they try, they take way too many liberties sometimes, you know? They, they take characters that are notable and really well-known and, and admired, you know, and loved. It, it, there's nothing wrong with them, but they sort of try to make it look more realistic. They make a Street Fighter movie look more realistic, you know? The characters are dressed differently. They look so much different than, uh, than their video game counterparts. They be behave differently, they talk differently, they act differently, you know, everything just comes off as really cringy, you know, and there have been a few uh, decent attempts, you know, there ha there was a recent Mortal Kombat movie that, I mean, honestly, the trailer looks amazing, you know, but I didn't really, I didn't really go to watch it, I, I actually don't really think I can, I don't think it's in theaters, I think it might be an HBO Max, but whatever, wherever it's streaming, I didn't even bother to watch it because it didn't really attract me too much, they did try to make a, an Assassin's Creed movie some time ago with Michael Fassbender, utterly, tra uh, utter trash, you know, it just sucked so badly, so usually the attempts at making uh, games out of movies, I mean, they, they are getting better, I, I gotta give it to them, you know, like the Assassin's Creed movie, even though I didn't like it, it was definitely much better than all those crappy Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter movies the, from a long time ago, you know? Uh, there was talks, I think, some time ago about making a Gears of War movie based on the games, and you guys have a lot to live up to there, man, because the Gears of War games are fantastic. You know, I mean, honestly, except for the last one, Gears 5, I didn't really enjoy it too much, you know? Gears Tactics was kind of bad, but the point is you guys have a lot to live up to, and I do mean a lot, so... It's gonna be hard. It, the same thing if you try to make a Halo movie. I think there was an attempt at one point, or maybe like a, a, a little, a short little mini series. I don't know. They did try to do something with Halo, but guys, we're talking about games that are insanely large scale. You know, Halo is essentially an open world series. You know, even though there is a linear plot, each level is so big that you can explore the vast content. You know, so it's really hard. Gears of War, each game, even though they are very, very linear, the the story is so amazingly deep and meaningful that it's kind of it's. It's easy for you to forget that you're literally just going from point A to point B shooting a certain number of enemies, you know? And uh, the amount of depth that you can fit into a game story, you know, is much, like, it, it, they can take much more liberty, you know, than with a movie story, you know, at least in my opinion as a, as a gamer. So it's easier to make a game like Gears of War than make a movie like Gears of War, you know? Because you have a certain amount of time to tell this story. You know, you have like maybe the the standard runtime of an hour and 30 minutes, an hour and 40, maybe two hours, you know? But a video game can go on for, for a long time, dude. Look at the Final Fantasy games. I mean, imagine trying to make a movie about a Final Fantasy game. It's gonna be like a three hour long thing. It's gonna be longer than Titanic, you know? So you guys have, the, the, the game industry has much more freedom to make really long games with amazing, meaningful plays plots than movies, which is why, in my opinion, when you try to do that, you try to take a game with a good story and try to fit it into a short film, you know, which will be short and compared to the game, you know, that's why, that's why so many of them fail, in my opinion. Now, what I'm sharing here with you guys is my honest, you know, sincere, genuine opinion, you know, and if you don't agree, that's fine. I really don't care, you know, you're, you're entitled to your opinion as well. And these movies, like, that some of them do have fan bases and maybe some cult followings because they do keep trying to make them, you know. The Street Fighter movies are like, and the Mortal Kombat ones are plagued with such horrible acting that like some of the line readings are so cringy. The CGI, the special effects are so badly done, you know, that it's hard to imagine anybody being remotely entertained by them. But hey, I mean, people like weird things, you know. I don't know. I mean, uh, there might be a cult somewhere that worships these old movies, you know. I don't know. I can't really think of any more examples. Usually it seems like they try to make uh, fighting games uh, into movies more, you know, I don't really know why that's such a thing, but that's what they try. And uh, it does get really cringy, you know, and this is not like the reality of video game movies sucking today may not be set in stone forever. They might get better as time goes on and movie studios invest more, you know, like they try to do with the Mortal Kombat one. But depending on the kind of game you try to make, you're going to have a lot to live up to. Like try, imagine trying to make a feature length film based on Grand Theft Auto. You know, I mean, uh, it's gonna be tough, man. And GTA 5 is already an amazing game because of the open world aspect, you know? I mean, you play through that game. It's like you're watching three or four different movies at once, you know? It's really crazy. Especially because there are three different characters that you can play as. So trying to make a movie like that is gonna come off as one of those crappy, like, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe like a... Uh 
The Expendables or something. You know, one of those action-oriented movies where a lot of stuff happens, like a Bruce Willis uh, Die Hard flick. You know, so that's what Grand Theft Auto is gonna feel like. So, tr uh, encapsulating the magic and the freedom that a gamer has in the game in a movie is really complicated. You know, in my opinion, Hollywood should just stop trying. You know, I mean, I don't really think that there's a necessity to see movies based on games, you know, because we gamers are going to have a much bigger expectation than those who don't play games, you know. Well, that's why it's harder to entertain us, you know, because we have played, I have played through all of the Gears of War games, you know, and I love them so much. I, I'm a hardcore veteran of Gears of War. I've beaten all the games on Insane, so I'm like, I, I know Gears of War lore, you know. I've dove in so deep into all of them, so like a Gears of War movie is going to have to try really hard to entertain and impress me you know so yeah and I'm pretty sure the same goes for other games who have who have played the entirety of Halo for example you know or Uncharted there is an Uncharted movie now coming out with uh uh, with uh, Tom Holland and I think Mark Wahlberg and honestly my expectations are not too high for it you know but I will of course watch and I'm curious but who knows man it might just surprise me you know got a few good name actors now because usually they get crappy B-list actors to act in these game movies so now maybe with an actual ensemble cast and a good director a nice pedigree it might make a difference I don't know but let's see if the new Mortal Kombat movie does well I, I'm pretty sure it's out already and if uh, this new Uncharted movie does well it might be the start of something new might be the start of a trend where video game movies actually, you know, are entertaining, but we got to wait and see for that, you know, but this has been my opinion about it, you know, let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you actually like video game movies and which ones are your favorites, you know, me personally, I don't like them, you know, I'm pretty sure that's been made obvious already, so let me know in the comment section below, if you happen to like this video, give it a like, and also subscribe to my channel, please, because I, well, I release videos every single day to entertain you guys, so I think I deserve a sub, you know, and also, my also hit the notification bell to know exactly what time I upload, you know? because usually it's multiple videos a day, two or three, depending on how much work I can get done, you know? That's a pretty good deal for you guys. You subscribe, you get two or three videos a day, huh? Return on investment. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for made it to the end, and I hope you stick around for the next one. This is Chazzy, signing out for now, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro screen. Do-do-do-do-do.